Hello everyone, welcome to Infinity Flies. Today I'm going to do a short little video on all the basic tools that are required so that you can start tying your own flies. Let's get to it. So in order to start tying some flies, you're going to need three things with one being optional. And one thing that I do not have, which I'll talk about at the end. So we'll start with the vise. Uh, this is a cam actuated vise. So when you depress this lever here, it opens up your jaws. And then when you close it, it uses the tension from this piece here to then hold your vise closed. Uh, they got good gripping power. I haven't had a whole lot of issues with it not holding any size hook other than maybe when you get to below size 18 it has a real hard time just because these jaws are so fat um, but I don't really tie much under 16 so for me it's very effective and it's got your C-clamp so you can clamp it to any table with a large large adjustment and then you have it on a long bar so you can adjust the height of your vise to what makes uh, makes you feel the most comfortable and then you also have adjustment here uh, but I usually leave that pretty tight that way when you're tying it's not just kind of falling down on you so that's the vise um, this one cost me 60 bucks so not not horrible uh, definitely definitely worth the money in my opinion um, next would be bobbin so this is what holds your tying thread so one thing I you, that you should pay attention to when you're buying a bobbin is the is the tip here make sure that it's got a nice rounded uh, rounded edges no sharp edges like especially on the inside of the hole because when you're tying and you're clamping down, uh, it's gonna cut your thread off if it's very sharp. Uh, so I have, I got this pair here, and if I can get it to focus, as you can see, it's got a, a lot sharper edge on the inside there. So many times I've broken off when tying. Those cost ten dollars, so well worth well worth the ten bucks as I've, as I've had them for over ten years now. Uh, next would be a decent pair of scissors. I definitely wouldn't cheap out on the scissors. Um, you're gonna want them to be nice and super sharp up on the tips. And make sure you treat them well. Don't cut any any hard materials with them. If you're gonna trim any wire, I always trim right in the corner there, because you're gonna want those tips to trim out any of the small little fibers and stuff. So those are the three must-haves in order to start. The fourth thing here um, is a pair of hackle pliers. For a long time, I just tied when I was trying to wrap like little feathers and little pieces of, of material around the hook, I just used my fingers. Um, like I don't have huge hands, so uh, I was able to do that pretty effectively. Uh, but definitely worth getting a pair of hackle pliers. You just clamp this onto on the end of a feather, and then you're able to easily rotate it around around the shank of the hook. So the one thing that I do not have, um, which I've, I've never owned, is a whip finishing tool. So if you check out my other videos, at the end when I finish off the fly, I do a whip finish by hand. Uh, I've just always done it that way. I found it on a video from this old timer when I was starting out. Uh, it took me a long time actually to kind of get a hang of it. Um, I'll do my best to try to get a video up of me explaining how that's done. Uh, 
but if you're not wanting to do it by hand, uh, you can easily get, like I said, what it's called a whip finishing tool. Um, I'll post a little picture in the corner of what one looks like so that you so that you know. There you have it. Those are some of the basic tools that you'll require in order to start tying flies. Um, there's a whole world out there for you to, for you to explore. Uh, so dig in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll definitely be doing another video on some of the basic tying materials that you'll need to get started on some of the few basic patterns. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, subscribe, give it a like. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.